Hey guys, this is Vinny 91 and Nintendo just this morning, I believe, announced the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, that's the whole Switch Mini that was rumored be coming for so long, and I'm glad they didn't just name it the Switch Mini because it's cool that they actually gave it another name, not just what people were rumoring it to be. But let's get into it. There are some features here I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about all the good features first and the ones that I feel are bad second. First thing, it seems like it's actually going to be lighter based on the Verge article than the actual Nintendo Switch. It doesn't seem to be much smaller if, if it is just a little bit and the controllers are actually attached to it so it's probably more sturdy. It is $199 and I thought it should have been 149 but we'll get into that a little later. And it has a D-pad. That's the biggest thing right there. It has that D-pad, not that thing that the left Joy-Con regularly comes with. It's cool that they're trying to appeal to people that basically just want to carry the Switch with them and don't want to put it in the dock really, but here's where the bad stuff come in. No HD rumble. I know that's not too bad because some people don't really care about the HD rumble, but I was playing like Super Mario Party yesterday and it is cool. The HD rumble is cool for certain games that take advantage of it. Also, unless you have a detachable controller like a Joy-Con, you cannot play games that require the motion ability. So you can only play games that can work in handheld mode. So I don't think you'd be able to play Super Mario Party. You can't play 1-2 one, one, Switch. I'm not sure most people care about that. But the biggest down for this system for me is the fact that I can't hook up to the dock. And that it's 199 but that kind of has it to do with it not being able to hook up to the, to the dock. Because if you want to play like Super Smash Brothers and you only have one Switch and there's like four people around, you cannot hook that up to a TV. So you have no option really. Sure, you can all four probably play on that little Switch Lite, but I, that just doesn't make as much sense to me because even if you're someone who 99% of the time plays on the go, it, to me, taking away that option is not worth $100 because the off chance that someone visits, you're by a friend's house, you wanna play a multiplayer game, you do not want to play on, on that tiny screen, in my opinion. It's so, to me, that's the biggest downside with the Nintendo Switch Lite. It should have been 149 in my opinion, because that makes sense for the loss of the dock. Because to me, that loses a whole aspect of gaming. You can't play the games that require you to detach the Joy-Cons unless you have a separate set of Joy-Cons. So, that kind of gets rid of the whole mini thing. If you have a separate set of Joy-Cons playing on the mini, I'm not sure if it even comes to the stand, the video, that I'll link in the description doesn't really make that clear, I think. To me, it's not worth it, really. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, to you guys, it may be. To those of you who really just play on the go, who basically never have friends over to play games, maybe it's worth it. But for $1.99, to me, it is not worth not being able to play games that require motion controls or require you to detach the Joy-Cons unless you have a separate set of Joy-Cons and not being able to hook it up to a TV just makes $1.99 for the Nintendo Switch Lite not worth it. But what do you guys think about the Nintendo Switch Lite? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and God bless you all.